Flavor. Flavor. What's going on, YouTube? I've never tried this or made this before. I'm gonna, I don't know if it's Chinese or Thai or Vietnamese or whatever, but it's like a Asian steamed fish. We got some hogfish fresh caught from the Gulf of Mexico. We're gonna put it on a plate, steam it with a sesame ginger sauce, fresh ginger on top, and then we're gonna finish with some scallions. And I got some bok choy that I'm gonna kind of stir fry along with some rice. So easy, simple, super flavorful dish for dinner tonight. Uh, I don't know, tell me what you think. I'm probably gonna mess it up. Who knows? As I mentioned, fresh hogfish, you wanna make sure your fish has been patted dry with a paper towel. Uh, when you freeze fish, you wanna kinda let this, and I caught this on December 12th, so it's about two weeks old, but vacuum sealer's got it looking right. Beautiful fillets. Um, Pat it dry, it holds better, it cooks better, it looks better. Over here, I've pre-sliced some shallots, our bok choy, which that might be big, but I don't know. Some red chilies, I julienned, julienne, whatever. Some ginger, I'm gonna shoot some uh, crushed garlic on top of the fish. Our sauce is equal parts soy sauce, water, a little bit of oyster sauce and a tablespoon of sugar. Mix that up until the sugar dissolves. And then I think I've showed this trick earlier, but if you take a green onion and you slice it long ways, and then you put it back into a bowl of cold water, uh, it curls up nicely and firms up. So it's gonna have some nice little crunch and you'll see at the very end of this dish, we're gonna heat up some sesame oil and Stephanie's got this bong looking thing. I guess you put olive oil and vinegar in it, whatever. But uh, you're gonna heat some of that up and pour it over the green onion and red chilies. And that's gonna kinda fry it up and give it that last little kick of flavor before we eat. While I'm waiting for our water to boil and the wok to get hot, I already cooked some white rice, jasmine rice, uh, just as a simple carb here from the meal. And um, what we're basically gonna do is put our fish in this glass pan which I hope fits, okay. And then we're gonna put it over the rack in here when the water starts boiling and steaming. Uh, gonna throw some Julian ginger on there and pour half of that sauce, set this in here and cover, steam between seven to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it to see when it's done. I read some recipes saying, you know, depending on the thickness, it could go as long as 10, some say seven to eight. So I'm gonna watch it and see how it goes from there. In the meantime, I'm gonna be stir frying some uh, bok choy and uh, shallots on the other side. All right, so we got some boiling action going on here. I'm gonna drop this without burning myself, maybe not. And we're gonna cover that and let it steam. Meanwhile, this is warm. I want to get some char on these bok choy. Some of these leaves are a little bigger. I kind of wish I had baby bok choy, but let's see how this goes. And once we get a little color on these guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some sauce, the other half of the sauce that we're cooking this in, so it kind of saute and, and uh, stir fry. Our fish has been steaming for five minutes, so let's take a peek. It's starting to cook. Let's give it a couple more minutes. All right, it's been eight and a half minutes. Our fish is done. So I'm going to take it off the burner and just let it chill out for a second because I don't know how I'm gonna, hell I'm gonna get that thing out of there. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some sesame oil and some olive oil. 
And I'm gonna put the other half of our julienne ginger in here just to get this crackling a little bit and then it's gonna get poured over the fish and the chilled green onions. And we are going to simply take our ginger oil and pour Doesn't exactly look the way I envisioned, <laughs> but didn't get bok choy. I got bok choy. That was not bok choy. It said bok choy in the label. Anyways, <laughs> so the fish is very flaky. I mean, you can just break it apart, but Stephanie doesn't like. Oh, this is bok choy. Oh no shit! What's that? That's the other side of the bok choy. No. It's I don't think it's the doctor. Well, it's what Publix had on the shelf. So, we're going to... Uh, Eat the root. Hmm? Eat the root. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why is it so oily? Okay. Why is it so oily? No, it's bok choy. I know it's bok choy. It said bok choy in the label. All right, I'm gonna go a little bok choy with a little bit of fish. You know, I'm just gonna do the fish by itself. There's a big old chunk of ginger on there. Okay, fish by itself. Mm. It's pretty hard to mess up hog fish. That's pretty good to me. The steam. It's a different texture. It's not. Yeah. Usually we get like crunchy with, you know, a pan fry the bottom side. Mm. Um, so it's different, but... It's chewier. Well, yeah, it's moist. Mm-mm. Like the texture is chewier. Okay, well, that's how I cooked it. So now I'm going to do a little bok choa. Some fish and rice. Can I get a normal human-sized bite? Not a child-sized bite? I'm in that time of year between Christmas and New Year's where I look and feel and eat like I'm 700 pounds. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait till normal work week again and we can get back to uh, normal dinners. Just this week? Oh. Oh, man. <clears throat> what are these fried things? That's fried ginger. You made that? No, I bought it in a can. Really? Oh God. Yes, I just put ginger and sesame oil and olive oil in your little bong thingy, and then I cooked it. Eat it I'm already sweating because, you know, it's hot over there with the steam, but throw some chili in there. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I would imagine this is pretty darn healthy. It's just protein, carbs, so and veggies. Fat. Oh yeah, there's a lot of sodium from the soy sauce. But, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Comment below. If you've made this before and, and I'm a complete idiot, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.